Hi there. Welcome to the short and to the point video on medical cannabis or medical marijuana. This video will cover all the essentials like what is medical marijuana, what are the benefits, what are the side effects or possible concerns, and is it safe to use. I also made a more in-depth video that's covered everything in much detail. You can find that video in the description if you are interested. And feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Before I wanted to start, I also want to tell you a little disclaimer. This video is meant purely informational. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. So, if you're looking to cannabis or marijuana, as it's called, uh, the plant consists out of four to 500 known compounds, of which 70 to 100 are called cannabinoids. Those are the active uh, compounds that will lead to the high, but also to the possible therapeutic uh, effects. Of those, THC and CBD, as listed on this slide, are the most uh, strong one, the most active one. And THC will lead to the high or the stoned feeling, and CBD will lead to the therapeutic effects. And you need to know that it is difficult to study uh, cannabis or marijuana because it consists of so many compounds. Mm. So it's hard to say which compound leads to which effect. So how could you use it? You can smoke it in a pipe, bong or joint, you can vaporize it, you can do it in the tea, you can make uh, food out of it by making butter and baking a cake, and lastly you can buy it in capsules. There's three main types of usage. Medical use, recreational and spiritual use. But I will not touch upon the spiritual use in this video. And you need to know that it's the most common drugs used worldwide. And more than 51% of all Americans at least uh, tried cannabis once in its life. So, what is medical marijuana precisely? It's prescribed by a physician and it's used to treat diseases or improve symptoms. And again, as I already told you, you need to know that there's limited uh, research been done, partly by uh, governments who restrict it, but also by uh, limited access to marijuana. And therefore, we do not precisely know if it's safe to use and what the possible benefits are, the efficiency. So classically, the difference between medical marijuana and, and normal recreational marijuana is that Medical marijuana has a higher CBD content, which is the therapeutic agent, and has a lower THC uh, content, which leads to the high. So you will have a lot of benefits, but you will not get that high or that stoned. So if you're looking to the evidence, then a lot of medical researches have been done, and there is some evidence that the use of medical marijuana may improve nausea or vomiting during chemotherapy. Also, it will improve symptoms of spasticity and tics in Tourette syndrome. And it can help people with post-traumatic stress disorder to experience less symptoms. Then, there is limited evidence that it would also help in anorexia, arthritis, migraine or glaucoma. But then, cannabis is only recommended if other treatments fail. And then lastly, supposedly, cannabis would also help people with chronic pain or muscle spasms or it would improve the appetite in people with HIV or AIDS but here for is no evidence then if you're looking to the recreational use and cannabis of course is mostly used for the relaxation effect for the feeling of euphoria um, also can distort the feeling of time and space it will increase libido and appetite and it can lead to hallucinations and higher dosages now, if you smoke it, it will work in minutes, but if you eat it in a cake, for example, it takes 30 to 60 minutes before it uh, works. And then the effect will stay from 2 to 6 hours, depending on the dose you took. The use of cannabis has also some short-term side effects, so you can have a dry mouth, increased appetite, you will get red eyes, there can be a feeling of dizziness, uh, some vomiting. And in more severe cases, anxiety or panic it can be impaired memory, most, mostly short-term memory. It can be an increased risk of a psychosis. There may be the uh, ability, in, uh, inability to, to think clearly. There may be increased risk for accident and it may impair your driving ability. So please don't drive while using marijuana. And it can also have some long-term side effects. Uh, for example, it 
uh, as an effect on your physical, mental, behavior, and social health. And it may lead to diseases of the liver, lungs, heart, and vasculature. It also leads to an impaired memory and then decline IQ, where people that start smoking marijuana at a young age will also uh, do worse at school. It may lead to schizophrenia or psychosis. It may also lead to more depressions, anxiety, and even to more suicides. And lastly, uh, you can get addicted to the use of marijuana, even medical marijuana. And um, marijuana is considered the gateway drug, so the first step to using uh, more hardcore drugs like cocaine or methadone. So that's important to note. Regarding safety, if you start using medical marijuana, you need to wait two weeks before you can start driving to see what side effects you're experiencing. If you're experiencing dizziness uh, or any kind of uh, other symptoms, it's not safe for you to drive and you should contact your doctor. And otherwise, you can drive while using marijuana. For alcohol, please do not combine it with medical marijuana. It may increase the side effects you're experiencing. And lastly, for food, there are no restrictions whatsoever. And if you want to use medical marijuana um, in pregnancy, please stop using it. It's not safe and it can have negative outcomes for the mother and the baby. And the same can be said for lactation, which is breastfeeding. It's also not safe. Regarding overdoses, there are no reports of any fatal overdose in a human ever. So it's really hard to get an overdose. Impossible. So we can conclude that there is a limited uh, research and evidence for the possible benefits, but also for the possible negative effects of marijuana. There are several medical uses, uh, of which mostly reduce of nausea and vomiting. And then there are many short and long-term side effects, some of them quite severe, like a drop in your EQ and your memory cap capabilities. So that's important to note. And lastly, more research needs to be done to precisely show what the benefits are and the risks so everybody can uh, make a better evaluation if uh, medical marijuana is suitable for their purposes. So thank you for watching. If you have questions, ask them in the comment section or check out my more in-depth video in the description. Feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos and thank you for watching.